Hi everyone, so welcome back to my channel. For today, I'm gonna share with you my nighttime skincare routine. Sorry if my face is so bare today because I stayed at home all day and I didn't put any more makeup. So first, if ever I have makeup on, I use a makeup remover. The makeup remover that I use is the Maybelline Eye Plus Lip Makeup Remover. As usual, I'm gonna leave everything that I use in this product on the description below. And you can use this together with the cotton balls or cotton pads, whichever you prefer. And sorry if I keep on looking on this side because this is where my mirror and my screen is located. So yeah, I use the Maybelline Lip and Eye Makeup Remover to take away all my makeup. I like this product because it doesn't stain my eyes, especially if I take away some mascara or any makeup on my eyes. So yeah, I recommend this one for you guys. And then after I remove all my makeup, what I do is I have my shower before, to, before going to bed. I always have my shower before I go to bed rather than having a shower in the morning. I prefer doing it at night. I use the Fisher Gel Hypoallergenic Daily Moisture Therapy. Yeah. It is recommended for dry and sensitive skin. I've been using this for more than three years, as I can remember. Yeah, maybe more than three years, three or four years. And I really like this product because it's very gentle on my face. And at first, actually, I'm using this product when I was in Manila. And then when I moved to, to Thailand, I was like thinking if I would be able to get this product here. But then I'm lucky enough to, to get it in the drugstore, so yeah. So I use this one. It is some um, gel-like consistency, so if you like gel-like consistency, this is good for you. But um, if you don't like it, then this might not be a good one for you guys. So after I use this as my cleanser, I need to use a toner. Actually, with all my skincare, the toner is actually my favorite of all because after I put it on, it feels very refreshing. And yeah, the product I'm using is the Olay Natural White 7-in-1 Hydrating Glow Toner. I like this product because it says Hydrating Glow Toner. Who don't want, who don't want to have a glowing face, right? So, so yeah. As you can see, it's like almost finished because I like it that much and you should try this one. So for this video, I'm gonna show it to you guys. Since I've done having a shower and I'm done cleansing my face, so I'm gonna show you how to use the toner. So I use cotton balls my toner and the smell is so nice too you know some some toner when you put it on your face it stain your face like alcohol but this one is really hydrating and very refreshing My skin type is actually dry and sensitive so this might work for you if you get the same skin type as me. After the toner, I use a lip balm. I actually use two lip balm. First is the Carmex moisturizing lip balm and the other one is the Vaseline lip therapy in cocoa butter yeah I use both first I use the Carmex one but before I really go to bed and I feel like my lip balm is all gone 
I, I, I add another coat of the Vaseline cocoa butter. This one is so moisturizing and it smells so nice like, like chocolate, like actually chocolate. This is good for soft, to have a soft glowing lips. And the Carmex one, actually the smell of this is more of like a um, meditation smell. You can, you can smell that at first some people might not like it because of the smell. Because the smell is like medicinal, but if you're used to it, then it doesn't bother you anymore. So for this video, I'm going to use the Carmex one. Next product that I'm going to put on is the Clinique All About the Eyes Reduces Circles, Puffs, yeah, it is for, for anti-aging for the eyes. It is always good to protect our eyes from wrinkles, so as young as possible, it's better to, to put on eye cream. Put it under your eyes or you can put it around your eyes this is very hydrating and moisturizing so for those people who suffer with like dry eyes so this might be a good one for you and for those who don't this is still good for you if you want to prevent any wrinkles And the last step is a um, moisturizer. I actually use the Tarte Maracuja Maracuja. I don't know how do you pronounce it. Maracuja oil. This is for acne-prone skin. So for those people who's been su suffering from acne, this is a good one for you to use. I only put like three drops on my face. I mostly put it on my forehead and both my cheeks and then just spread it all over your face that moisturizer would definitely last a long time because you only need a tiny bit so it's very worth it but some people might say it's a bit expensive but if you're just gonna use a tiny bit then it's gonna be worth it So yeah, that's all the products that I use and I know most people have a lot of products that they put on their face but this is the only products that I use and I hope that I can share it with you and you can you can also try all these products and let me, let's see how it goes with your skin. And that's it. So hope you like this video if you enjoy it. Give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos and I'll see you soon. Bye!